What up, food tubers? Jamie Oliver here. We got Michael from Vsauce. That's right. Yes, and if you haven't subscribed to his channel, check it out. It's wicked. Tell him about the channel, man. Uh, it's super fun. I take on kind of crazy questions and see where my mind goes and hopefully accidentally teach a few things. Yeah, you're gonna love it. Oh, I love it. So, we made him a Vsauce sauce, a green sauce. Right, and it's good with anything, okay? So we're gonna do a little dish. We're gonna cook it super quick. Chicken v -sauce. So we got cling film here. We're gonna cling get- film. Cling film. Sounds like something a super old person would call So we're gonna get two layers. Two layers of the plastic stuff. Uh, we're gonna take a chicken breast. Yeah. Slap that on. Fold this over, and we're gonna get something flat. Let me just wash my hands. Something heavy and something flat. Mm, what could that be? Be, it could be green sauce. Whoa! So I want you to smash it out about a centimeter thick. This is gonna cook quick and it's gonna tenderize it, okay? We got a griddle pan here. Mm-hmm. Got a tortilla. We got some beautiful things. I got some everyday cress. I got some avocado. I've got some gem. I got some tomatoes. Okay, so let's get cooking. Is that about a centimeter? I'm from America. I only know inches in football. That's about right. A little bit of olive oil. Olive oil never on the griddle pan. This griddle pan has been heating up for five minutes. Ah, right? interesting. We're yeah. going to put a little bit of seasoning, salt and pepper. I can use the glad wrap without touching the chicken just to massage that on. And then I'm going to just pop that onto here. Cool. So we're going to char it up. What's really nice about this method of cooking is you can see the heat traveling up and it gives you an idea of what heat oh, does wow. to chicken. So we're about a quarter cooked. Right. Also, see the smoke. Okay, so we've got that charry flavor. It's gonna give you a beautiful visual. You're gonna have the char bars. Char normally equals a version of bitter, and we wanna balance that with the V-sauce, which is sweet yeah. and sour. It's more than halfway now. Yeah. So I'm gonna go in with a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, and you can put just a little bit of oil just on the chicken. Yeah. Right? And I'm gonna use these tongs. You can turn that, brother. Do you realize this looks like a little, it's a heart, but it's malformed, but you know, Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, it's like a catcher's mitt, actually. Oh, yeah, it's like a little mitten, or Michigan, or just a piece of chicken that's been bashed oh, with visa. Oh, Mr. Literal. But that's what it's going to be. OK, back over here, brother. I'm going to take my knife, and I'm going to go for some quarters of tomatoes. I've got some old-fashioned cress here. You could use any shoots that you want. So we've got some avocado. Be very, very careful how you cut that. We're going to have some here. Just going to go in with a spoon straight around the edge, roll it around, and boom. Here's an interesting one. When protein comes off the grill, it's dry. So if you just kiss ah. it with a little fat, the second it comes off the grill, it will stop it drying out. And actually, we'll let that rest for just one minute while we heat up this tortilla. Just put it on there. You don't want it to toast or anything like that. We're not going to do it on both sides. Just count to 10, feel that. It's good. Oh, I love it. It's good to go. Soft. And we've got some little bar marks here. We're then gonna load up with some lettuce, shoots, tomatoes, and I'm gonna slice the chicken at a little bit of an angle. Oh. Now remember, when you prepare a chicken breast like this, you could easily feed two people. So back over with some of those ingredients. The chicken's on there. A little bit of avocado. A little bit of spring onion. And then it's Vsauce time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so we're just gonna dump it on, you're gonna throw it on, you're gonna... What do you call this, seagulling? It looks like when a seagull does a poop. I like oh. my food prefaced with poop um, You mean natu references. natural things that happen in nature? Yeah, well, the I'm last, not afraid. The last thing I'm gonna do, boss man, oh, yeah. is we got heat in the V-cells, yeah? So I'm gonna hit heat with a little yogurt. That is my chicken V-cells. Yeah, it looks beautiful, look at that thing. There you go. Mm. There's that tang inside. It's like that <laughs> so mystery good. thing that makes you go, whoa, 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 wait, guys. And now here. you can see why we push those flavors in the V-Sauce, because when they're around all this stuff, they just calm a little bit, and then you achieve perfection. So there you go, guys. That's the V-Sauce chicken in a wrap. Unbelievable. If you like this video, please like it or share it on your social media. And by the way, if you want to check out V-Sauce and you haven't subscribed already, hit him. Yeah. Hit him. And of course, subscribe to FoodTube. I mean, look at this. It's tasty. Mmm. So subscribable. Mm. And it's free.